Hey guys, it's Russell back. And on today's video, as part of our Bring That Mercedes Back From The Dead series, we're going to be doing rear brakes. Now, as with a lot of these videos uh, that I make, I had not planned on doing anything with brakes for a long time. I've known that there was something just not quite right with them. And yesterday, I was driving the car, doing some fiddling with the vacuum to work on the transmission shifting issue. And I got back here, pulled it in the shop here, and when I walked by the rear of the car, I could feel a lot of heat emanating from the wheels. So I put my hand up to it, couldn't even touch it. I mean, the thing is scalding hot. So I got my uh, temperature gauge out and checked all the wheels, and sure enough, the rear ones, especially the ones on the driver's side, were so hot it was nearly smoking. And let me show you what I found. <laughs> yeah. When I originally checked the brakes, um, the fronts it looks like the pads are brand new. I haven't done the pads, but uh, this was down to the metal. This was on that side. And the other pad was almost down. Definitely got the money's worth out of it. Now I know when I pulled the wheel off to do the spare tire, uh, when that tire was flat, that <laughs> these weren't that low because I, I looked. You can glance in the back of the caliper and see. Well, the reason is the caliper has been sticking, and I've only driven this car maybe 50 miles uh, since I did the wheel. And um, so, long story short, caliper has to be replaced. It's partially seized. So I come over here to this wheel, and this was all last night about midnight. Come over here to the other wheel. It wasn't very really hot because it had cooled down like that one was, but both pistons and this caliper frozen solid. So what I'm going to do today, I've got the camera on the little tiny tripod because I'm going to try to get you guys some good shots um, without holding the camera. I, there's nothing worse and you trying to watch something and the camera shaking because I, I can't stand that. So we're going to do, uh, and this has got Bendix uh, calipers all around. So I went back with Bendix. You either have Bendix or ATE. ATE is more common. Uh, they are interchangeable. However, you need to make sure that if you, let's say you had Bendix on the back and wanted to switch to ATE, you need to have both of these on the rear ATE. So one axle has to be the same. You could have Bendix up front, which I have, ATs on the back, however you want to do it, it doesn't matter. ATs are easier to get. I just couldn't get them. I needed them today. I've got brand new, um, brand new rear pads. I've got Brembo rotors to go in here because obviously the rotors are trashed. And while I'm doing all that, it's got 30 some year old hoses on it. So we're going to be replacing that. Um, calipers are a mess. And I'm going to show you a little later how to determine if you have Bendix or AT because it's not always written on the caliper. It wasn't written on these calipers. It is on the front. It actually says Bendix. On the back, it's not, but there's an easy way to tell which one you have. Um, so with that being said, I need to get going because it's hot out here. And because I already have the rear of the car uh, this side, on the passenger side, already up on a jack stand, and everything's ready to go. We're going to do that. So uh, let me get let me get set up here, and uh, I'll be right back and show you what's going on. Okay, so what we're looking at here is I've already removed the the um, the two 19 millimeter bolts that hold the caliber caliper to the frame here and this is the Bendix caliper right here now you never let a caliper hang by the um, hose but we're going to be replacing the hose so it doesn't matter and this tripod is a little hunky so all right so what we're going to be doing is I am going to go ahead and loosen the junction for the brake line where the hard line is 
I've already sprayed it with carburetor cleaner or brake parts cleaner last night to ensure that it was clean. Take your, what size is 14, and hold this. Okay, once it's loose, it should just unscrew very easily. And I'm going to take the caliper and I'm going to take one of these bolts and just temporarily put it on the, the knuckle here. All right, so make sure nothing's on there. This goes up in the hole like this, and then you take the hard portion of the line and basically made it into the hose itself. Please tell me in the comments if using this little tripod at least is it giving you guys better shots than me trying to hold the camera. All right. Hopefully that'll be good. All right, so what we're gonna do now is, I've got our bag of hardware, and obviously I'm replacing the rotor, so this was just temporary. I'm gonna take this off, and since we have a brand spanking new caliper, you can either, if you have a caliper hook, you can do that, use that, I don't. So I'm just going to wedge it right there, and it's not against the pistons or anything. And this brake rotor just slides right off. Now while you're in here, it's good to inspect the parking brake shoes. These still have a lot of life left in them. So I'm going to get the brand new Brembo brake rotor. And I'm going to show you how I prepare that next. I've got to get some clean gloves, and we've got to get our brake parts cleaner. All right, so these rotors are packed very nicely. They've got a, uh, let me move this camera a little bit for y'all. They've got a really nice uh, covering that keeps moisture out. And then on top of the rotor, on the face of it, it's covered with a protective oil that keeps it from rusting. Now, if you fail to do what I'm getting ready to do, you will have a lot of problems. Okay, it's, I don't know if you can see, it's kind of greasy. All right, so all I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my brake parts cleaner, and I'm gonna put it on the face and wipe it off. And I'm gonna show you, this is a clean paper towel, show you the oil and stuff that's on there. All right, I'm gonna put the rotor back on the hub. Again, clean gloves. I'm not gonna touch the face. There is one little indexing hole here that goes onto the dowel pen of the hub. And helps to locate it. All right, make sure all the lug holes line up, which they do. The German torque method is good and tight. All right, so what I ended up having to do, I realized that the bend on this replacement spring was different than on the one that was on there. So I just used the one that was on there instead of having to spend another 20 minutes rebending something. So anyway, these are back on. All right, so that went really quick. Um, I probably did that in 10 minutes. From start to finish. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to bleed the brakes. So there's going to be one more air come out. And it's going to do this for a while. So without making this video too unbearably long, I will... Uh, do this side, I'll do the other side until I get every bit of air out and the pedal's nice and firm, and I'll bring you back. All right, so 
we have completed our rear brake job. We've got right at 131.689 in the miles. I've put 89 miles on it total since we've started the series and the brakes are doing very, very well. The only thing that I'm having a little issue is that it's hard to get all the air out. So I ran out of brake fluid. Um, but I will procure some more tomorrow and bleed the all four wheels again. Um, but yes, the, the rear doing very, very well. I bedded them in like I uh, told you guys. Did multiple, probably did 10, 15 uh, quick stops from forward, anywhere from 40 to 60 all the way down to about 10 miles an hour. Um, and it really, really heated the brakes up, transferred that material broke in the rotors and uh, then I drove for about five six miles let them cool off and then the pedal returned to normal um, so with that being said I'm gonna go ahead and sign this video off if you guys have not subscribed I would ask that you do so hit that subscription button it looks like a little bell right next to the right of that you'll be notified as soon as I upload video and I will see you guys on the next video